everyone! In this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to play a game called Polynomial Sudoku. And you'll notice I said it's a game because Polynomial Sudoku is the most fun you're ever going to have in math class. This is kind of like uh, turning math multiplication and division into fun little puzzles that you can solve. Kind of like the diamond puzzles we just did in the last video. This week is all about games and you're going to love it, just like I do. Um, now, before we jump into this, the, the idea of polynomial Sudoku is it's essentially box method or area model, lattice method, um, whatever you want to call it, multiplication, but with blanks in different spots. So before we jump into moving the blanks around, let's just do a quick recap of how you do polynomial multiplication with the box method. So I'm going to start off here. I'm going to draw a box. And my box is going to be two by two. And the reason my box is going to be two by two is because I've got two terms in my first binomial and I've got two terms in my second binomial. So I fill in each of those terms along my edges. So this is two X and this is minus five. And then my other binomial is three X plus two. And the way that area model works is this edge here is sort of 2x long, and this edge here is 3x, this edge here is 3x. So we're multiplying 2x by 3x in this box down here. And 2x times 3x is 6x squared. And our next edge is negative 5, so this is negative 5 and the edge next to it is 3x. So negative 5 times 3x is negative 15x. This, these edges down here are both going to be 2s, right? This is 2. This edge across here is 2x. So 2 times 2x is 4x. And then finally, this edge here is negative 5. Negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. And then what you do in your last step, you sort of take your diagonals and you add up along your diagonals. So those two combine, those two combine, that one combines. So 6x squared, 6x squared, negative 15x plus 4 is negative 11x minus 10. And so when you multiply those two, you get 6x squared minus 11x minus 10. Now polynomial Sudoku is kind of like that, but instead of just boring, always having the edges filled in and then working your way down, we are going to have blanks in different spots. And depending on where your blanks are, you need to sort of work backwards, forwards, upside down, whatever, to figure out what you can find. So look at this one here. Um, I noticed that this bottom, this bottom left box right here is 15x squared. And you'll notice there's only one arrow going to this 15x squared. So this box here has to be 15x squared. And similarly, the other bottom corner, this is the only box that's going to have a constant number. And so my constant is going to be four. So cool, I can fill those two in already. And uh, this box here I can fill in because I know negative two and five x multiply to give me negative 10 x. Okay, so far so good. So now how do I fill in these spots here? I'm going to have to start thinking backwards. Negative 2 times whatever was here should give me 4. So I need negative times, well this is going to have to be negative times negative to give me a positive, and 2 times 2 is 4. So this box here has to be a negative 2. And similarly, like something up here times 5x gives me 15x squared. Well, 5 times 5 times 3 is 15, and x times x is x squared. And now I should be able to fill in this final box down here. So 3x times negative 2 is negative 6x, and sure enough, I can combine these things. Negative 10x and negative 6x makes negative 16x. And so if I want to write this out as like a, a statement, what this shows is that um, 3x minus 2 times 5x minus 2 equals 15x squared minus 16x plus 4. Okay, let's try another one. Oh, I like this one. 
So this one, we're gonna start with sort of that same strategy of filling in the corners, right? Remember in this example here, we filled in the 15x squared and the four first because there's only one box needed to fill this square and there's only this one box here fills this corner. So we can fill the corners of this one using our six x cubed on one side and using our six on the other. And this way we can sort of work our way sort of diagonally across this way, or we can work from this corner backwards going diagonally up this way. And either way, we should be able to get the polynomial. Okay, so what times negative two is positive six? It's gonna be negative three times negative two is positive six. And this box here is going to be negative three up here times three x is negative nine x. Uh, now working backwards here, we have negative 9x plus something giving us x. And so this is sort of the, the tricky part of this problem here, is figuring out this, these sort of middle boxes. So I need a positive, right, this is like an invisible one here. Negative 9 plus what is 1? Well, negative 9 plus 10 gives me 1, so this one here has to be 10x. So then I can now work my way back, since I know that negative two times this had to give me my 10x, then I can work backwards to fill out this box up here. Negative times what gives me a positive? Well, negative times negative gives me a positive. Two times what gives me 10? Well, two times five gives me 10. And a constant times what gives me an x? A constant times x gives me x. And now that I know this box, I can now fill in here. Negative times positive is negative. Five times three is 15. X times X is X squared. Okay, we're almost done. Um, I'm gonna do this one actually the other way. So I, I could sort of subtract and figure out this one here. That would make this a negative four X squared. But you don't necessarily need to. I've sort of been working the bottom right corner up. But we could also have worked from the top left corner down. So I'm actually gonna fill in this box next because I can and it doesn't matter what order you do these. That's the fun thing about Sudoku polynomials. You can do them whatever order you like and, and often there's multiple ways of approaching it and I just I just have so much fun with these things. So let's see if we can figure out this box here. This box times this box gives us this box. So three times what gives us six? Three times two gives us six. And x times what gives us x cubed? Well x times we need two more x's, so this has to be an x squared. And now we can then fill out our last box here, and sure enough, this is going to be positive times negative is negative, two times two is four, and x squared times a constant is x squared. So there you have it. All right, you ready for me to blow your mind? This question right here doesn't seem too scary, right, now that you've seen it? This is actually math 30-1 that we've just done. We just did polynomial division. We just did 6x cubed minus 19x squared plus x plus 6, right? This whole polynomial here, we just divided by this polynomial here. We did that divided by 3x minus 2, and we found out that that equals this polynomial across here. This equals 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. That's right, you guys just did math 30-1 by watching this video. I love polynomial Sudoku, it's so cool. Okay, I'm gonna move on to my favorite example of all. This is one we're gonna to have to work like forwards, backwards, like all over the place. So first of all, um, I can sort of fill in my corners with this number and this number here, so let's do that first. So this is 6x cubed and this six down here fills in this box. And now this is where this problem starts to get a little bit tricky because we only have one number in all of these edges out here. So I'm gonna have to use that two X in my next step. And so I know that this box times this box gives me this box. So this box two X times what gives me six X cubed? Well, two times three gives me six and X times, well, I'm going to need two more X's to get X cubed. So that's going to be X squared. And this box here we can also fill in similarly. Two times what gives me 10? Well, two times five is 10, and x times x is x squared. All right, so I filled in these, I filled in this. Well, if I know this box and I know this box, then I can actually fill in this box down here because whatever's here times this up here must be this thing here. So positive times what gives me a negative? Well, positive times a negative. Three times what gives me nine? 
well, 3 times 3 equals 9, and x squared times, well, a constant is x squared. So that's just negative 3. Well, now I can sort of work, you know, back forwards again. So if this is negative 3 here, then I can work up to here. Negative times a negative is positive, and 3 times 2 is 6. Now this box here, uh, okay, let's figure this out. I've got a negative times a positive is negative, 2 times 2 is 4, and x times the constant is x. In this box down here, I can get just by straight multiplication. Negative times positive is negative, 5 times 3 is 15, x times a constant is x. And last but not least, let's combine along our diagonals. Negative 4x and negative 15x gives us negative 19x, and positive 10x and negative 9x gives us positive x squared. So there you have it, that is polynomial Sudoku. This is the most fun you're gonna have in math class. Well, maybe not, calculus is pretty fun too.